Hey Pisces and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you for joining me and um, visiting my page and checking out my video. I always enjoy reading your comments and I truly appreciate you guys for taking the time to hear what I have to say. So I'm doing a second channel the message reading for the month. <coughs> Excuse me. I only usually do one but um, with this new energy force I'm um, drawn to put out a second channel message video for you guys. So um, I am with this channel message. I use the Wisdom of the Hidden Realm by Colette Barrett Reed. And I just asked my angels for one card to uh, give me an overall theme for your reading. And you guys got the Lady of Light, <coughs> the Lady of Lightning. So this is surprises, um, sometimes shock, paradigm shifts, total paradigm shifts. Like this is an amazing card to have for this energy. I tell you what, Pisces, um, when this card um, comes in to your life, it brings powerful forces of change. Um, it brings a sudden shift of your circumstances, uh, perhaps a situation uh, you weren't anticipating rises and offers you new opportunities, new doors opening, um, new ways of seeing things, thinking about things. Um, it's like aha moments all like wrapped into one in this amazing, beautiful energy of this new moon in cancer and the, and the partial solar eclipse that happened last night. So, um, everything is going to change for you guys just like that. So, um, be prepared. Because change is imminent, nothing in this world stays the same, but this is going to happen very quick. Um, don't resist the change. It's going to be beautiful. It's uh, it's not the kind of lightning you want to fight. Just allow it to happen and, uh, and enjoy it because these beautiful changes are going to be amazing. So that's what your guys' card is for the next two weeks. Um, as far as your channel messages... Um, you guys are, a lot of you are just done. You are done with the past. You're done with, um, people that have been lying and keeping secrets from you, um, from people who have been cold and detached, uh, towards you. For some of you, you could have blocked somebody or, Somebody blocked you due to the hurt. Um, I see there's there's no communication between the two of you. Uh, you're healing. Um, you have decided to take on this healing energy and and just really leave the past behind you. Um, you guys have been dealing with jealousy, and it's really been affecting your love life. Um, someone's been spying on you because you've been so detached, but you've only been detached because you were hurt. Um, there was a third party for a group of you. Um, possibly with a fire sign. Uh, Sagittarius and Aries, especially I'm seeing. Um, and you've been struggling with a decision. You've been struggling with, do I completely block them out and move forward? Or do I stay detached, continue to heal, but keep them at arm's length. Um, but I see there was a lot of manipulation around this relationship towards you, Pisces. Um, this person could have been bouncing back and forth between you and somebody else, especially since around May, probably, um, for a group of you, sometimes some of you even longer than that. So, um, be careful of that manipulative energy. Uh, don't let, don't let them take advantage of you because you deserve so much more. Um, for a group of you, uh, there's been somebody that you've been in separation from. They're going to try coming back to you. This is totally, the ball is in your court. If you want to, uh, give it a go again or not. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with an earth sign. That's Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, this person had to separate from you. A separation was being called for because they didn't realize your worth. 
Um, it took them leaving and time away from you to realize the value you are to them, um, to realize how much you mean to them, which is sad, but it's true. And they are realizing what you were, what you are, what they want. Um, yeah, and I see them trying to come back. Like I said, it's up to you with this as well. For some of you, you guys are overcoming obstacles. Um, you guys have had a lot of obstacles in your way lately. But the truth is coming out and you're overcoming this. You are walking away from a betrayal that's been just life altering for you. Um, it sent you into like a emotional tailspin and, and you felt like you couldn't control how this person made you feel and you didn't like that. That's when the wall went up. And honestly, you're scared to open back up again. You're scared of being hurt. Um, but Spirit is encouraging you to stop being so closed off because you're deflecting true love. You're deflecting love from coming in that's meant for you. Um, for a group of you, you're dealing with two people. Uh, could be, an, I'm seeing Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, Sagittarius. Yeah, Aries. I don't know if I said that already. Aquarius, but you're conflicted. You're not sure where to put your heart. Um, for a large group of you, you're not ready for a relationship. You need to allow more healing. Um, yeah, allow time right now. For a different group of you, you guys are attached to somebody who is very toxic for you. I'm not saying they're a bad person, but... Um, they're manipulative. They could possibly be using you. Um, they have more than you. So they're bouncing back and forth. Um, Spirit's calling for, for you to detach from that energy. It's not serving you any good. Um, for some of you, you're still dealing with the pain of the past from a partner that cheated on you. Um, once again, they're trying to bounce back and forth. This could possibly be the, the person I was just talking about. So I'm seeing a lot of the same. Yeah. But Pisces, you guys have made a lot of sacrifices. You guys have put yourself um, out there on the line, sacrificed what you've truly wanted and needed in a relationship to make this person happy. And um, you're done now. You're done with the weight of this relationship. You're done with the weight of um, all these burdens, all these issues that this person has brought into your life, all the drama, all the lies, the cheating, the manipulating. You're done with it. Um, have faith. Truly, truly have faith because um, you're dealing with a soulmate in separation. Um, These issues are going to resolve after you heal. This is separate from that toxic energy person. This is a different group of people. You're dealing with a soulmate. They, you had to release them. You couldn't do it anymore. Um, once you heal, they're coming back. Make sure you use the energy of the next two weeks to set your new moon intentions. Very strong energy. Very strong, especially for you water signs. Holy crap. You know, the new moons and cancer, uh, which is a water sign as well. Your guys' emotions are already um, up and down. Like this is going to be very intense for you. But if you use that intensity in a good, positive direction, healing is going to come so quick to you. Um, your emotions are going to are going to start leveling out. You're not going to feel so high and low all the time. Um, you're building yourself up. Truly, you are building yourself from the ground up because this person that you guys have dealt with in the past shattered you to pieces, brought you to your knees, and um, and in the next two weeks, you're going to start building yourself back together piece by piece that they broke, um, and you're going to build yourself into a beautiful, beautiful, new, transformed, rebirthed soul. Um Love is here for you, for a lot of you. 
Um, and there's going to be a person that comes into your life that's going to help you build that person that you want to be. Um, so allow that love in and have faith. Um, don't trust too quickly, however, uh, but have faith. This is, this is yours. This is yours for the taking. It's here right in front of you. Um, for some of you, you are finding out you're pregnant in the next two weeks. Congratulations. Um, for some of you, you're overthinking a situation that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, sorry. It's raining outside and my car windows are down. So, uh, <laughs> someone's going to roll them up for me. <laughs> so, um, for some of you, you're overthinking a situation. Uh, you're worrying, are they here for the right reasons? Are they coming in to, to just use me? Are they, you know, because that's what you've been dealing with in the past. Stop overthinking and just go with the flow. Sorry, my nose is really itchy all of a sudden. Just go with the flow. Um, because the right person's coming in for you and they're there for the right reasons. Um, so don't stress yourself out. Um, it's easy to do because you guys have been so just stomped on the last six months to two years. Um, they're going to make you happy. Yeah. They're going to make you very happy. Uh, however, for a group of you, you are with somebody that makes you very happy, but they're wanting out. Um, be cautious of this because they're lying about something. Um, some of you are dealing with somebody who is super flaky in and out can never count on them. You're letting them go. Um, spirit, it's calling for you to, uh, stand your ground. You have been dealing with people in your life who have been trying to keep you down and they are only doing that because they know how much potential you have. They're trying to dull your sparkle because they don't want you to outshine them. So just tell everybody to F off. Start living your life for you, Pisces. Um, the universe is saying, hold up, you know, let's take back control of our life. The next two weeks, you have the energy and are backed by all the support of the universe to do just that. So stop, take a breath, let the past go and, and start walking forward in your own direction on your own path. Um, you have found so much strength in the last year that you don't even realize you found. You have found this beautiful independence within you that you don't even realize because either A, you have blocked these people out or B, they have blocked you out. But in that time, you have gained so much strength that you don't even realize it. And that's going to be one of your aha moments. You're going to just like that, be like, I can do this. I can move forward. I'm going to rock it. Um, you know, either you're with me, you're with me. If you're not, I'm leaving your ass behind. So it's really just an amazing, um, amazing turnaround for you guys coming in the next two weeks. Um, some of you are trying to fix something that's not meant to be fixed. If it's broken and it's extremely hard, um, leave it behind. What's meant for you will come in for you when it is perfect for you. So you can't fix anybody else. You can't fix somebody else that's broken. Um, you're responsible for your own happiness. So make yourself happy. And those people who want to be in your life will fix what they have to fix on their own time to get back into your life. Don't make any exceptions to the rule um, because they don't deserve it. Um, if they do deserve it down the road, then you can make that choice then. But in the next two weeks, Spirit is encouraging you to take back control of your own life, to take back control of your own emotions, to um, decide what it is that you truly want and start walking down that path because um, it's here for you. Uh, this paradigm shift that you're about to experience it's 
to put you on your soul's journey, your soul's path, because you know what? You guys are one of the most intuitive uh, zodiacs in the whole universe, and you're going to start um, following your intuition. You're going to start listening to your inner guide, that little voice um, on your shoulder. So stop overthinking the past. Um, stop being so hard on yourself. You guys are being incredibly, incredibly hard on yourself, especially for the group of you who did have a third party. Um, what's in the past is the past. You have to forgive yourself. Um, for those of you who are hurt by a third party, um, move forward and realize that it's their loss. Um, the best revenge is to... Um, Move on with your life and become happy and successful and make them realize what it is that they lost. Um, this retrograde season has been rough on you guys. It really has. Um, Spirit's asking you to ask yourself, what did I learn from this? How can I rebuild from this? What do I need to do to take the next step forward? Um, after all this hurt and pain have that I have experienced. How do I build myself back up again? How do I find the strength to find myself? Because unfortunately, um, one of the hardest things to do in life is to find your own self after you've been lost for so long. Because more times than not, you don't even realize you're lost until you're way in there deep. So um, with this energy, you guys are pulling yourself out of self-doubt. You guys are pulling yourself out of self-pity. You guys are pulling yourself out of all this negative energy that has just bombarded your life that you didn't even see coming until it hit you smack dab in the face. And you're realizing that you deserve more. You are worth so much more than what you've been putting up with. Um, you are blocking people out of your life that do not serve your greatest good. Um, and the universe has your back. The uh, this eclipse season, these next three or the three eclipses, is an amazing time. But it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be quick and painless. But it's going to be so worth it in the end. Um, for some of you, you're getting up the strength to um, leave a job behind that that is miserable for you. Um, your careers and your finances are going to take a awesome turn for the, the positive. Um, your biggest, uh, obstacle right now is yourself. Um, you're being way too hard on yourself. You don't give yourself enough credit. Um, you're blaming yourself for things you had no control over. Um, it's time to let all that go. Because it's time for you to be happy. It's time for you guys to, to quit cheating yourself. Um, you're cheating yourself out of happiness. You're cheating yourself out of love. Because you don't think you deserve it. And there's no reason to think that. Um, you guys are just an amazing... Um, you have an ama amazing energy about you. Uh your love is raw and passionate and, um, you give it out without a lot of times, um, getting the return energy back. So you're draining yourself. You're tired. Um, it's time to rest. Um, yeah, it's time to rest, to heal and, um, to realize that you deserve all the amazing abundance that's coming in for you. You just have to um, allow it to, to come in for you. Let that wall down a little bit. Um, it's time to trust the universe. Uh, Pisces, you guys uh, aren't trusting very many people right at the moment because there isn't very many people out there that hasn't sabotaged you, backstabbed you, lied to you, cheated you. Um, so it's it's you're finding it hard to trust. You're finding it hard to trust yourself because you let these people in your life. Um, but the universe is calling for you to trust, trust in yourself, trust in your journey. And more, most importantly, trust in the universe that they know what is 
what is going on. They know what to do. They know how to get you in that path to happiness, to success. Um, because right now it's time to strategize. It's time to take everything that's happened to you to, um, confront it, to heal from it, and then walk away from it and, uh, and put your next play into action. Um, because you're self-sabotaging yourself. Um, you're poverty conscious. You think you don't deserve this. You think that you don't, um, yeah, that you don't deserve happiness for some reason. So it's time just to let go, go with the flow, um, move with the natural movement of things and things that aren't meant for you are going to fall away. They're going to, um, exit your life in this energy. Uh, and it's time to rebuild you. It's time to resurrect yourself from the ashes that, that they burnt you to the ground in and, uh, and build that beautiful, that beautiful life that you have always wanted. Um, because the cosmos, they are on your side. They have your back. Um, and you have sacred unions coming in as well. You have romance knocking at your door the next two weeks. It's going to be an amazing healing time for you. So in the first week or two of August, you guys can call in those soulmates because you are dealing with a soulmate. The soulmate energy is very heavy right now. Um, you guys have twin flames coming back for a group of you. Um, the end of July, you guys um, are having people come into your life that you have never met before. For a large group of you, this is going to be a life partner. Um, have fun with it. Let the energy be light. Don't project your past hurts onto a new love. Um, but most importantly, it's time to persevere. It is time to... Yeah, it's time to rise and shine. And um, for those of you, uh, for those of you that have people around you that can't handle how bright you are, how bright you shine, how much light your love, your life can have, then leave them in the dark because they're not worthy of you. Um, have a clear vision for your future. Work out the details within yourself. Take that time of rest. Write down your goals. Um, write down your new moon intentions. This is very important because you're becoming successful in what you wish for. You are um, manifesting amazing, amazing things for your life. Um, but most importantly, have kindness for yourself, consideration for yourself. Um, because you have been through a shit storm. You have been through heartache, betrayal, and it's just, it's time to prepare. It's time to, um, prepare for the future, prepare for the life that you want. And, uh, most importantly, Pisces, enjoy life, enjoy the celebration of life, have joy again. Enjoy the things you're doing. Enjoy your activities, your relationships, your connections, your work. Um, don't forget to enjoy life because just, just because that one person has tore you down doesn't mean the world doesn't want you to succeed. Uh, you have angels here to help. They are here. Um, they are bringing you miraculous aid and healing and success and prosperity and love and work and just your angels are here. They want you to know that. Make sure you're praying to them and asking for help um, because whatever side you feed is the side that's going to be success or is the side that's going to take more control. So are you feeding to your doubt and your um, conflict or are you feeding to your conscious choice? Are you feeding to your angels? Are you asking for help? Um, which side are you paying more attention to, your shadow side or your light side? Make sure you're feeding your light side. Pray to your angels. Um, rest. Meditate. Ask them for help. Ask them for healing. And that's what's going to be successful. That's what's going to bring you in what you deserve, your blessings. And most importantly, it's going to bring balance back to your life. It's going to bring fairness back to your life. It's going to bring happiness 
and joy and true love. So Pisces, with this next two weeks energy, please take the time to pray to your angels, to ask for help, for ask for healing. Let that guard down a little bit and let love come in because you guys have amazing August coming up for you. I can't wait to uh, release my August channeled messages. I, there's a couple times I had to hold back from telling you guys what your August is bringing for you, but it's bringing amazing energy, amazing love. People are coming back. Um, they're waiting for you to heal. So use these two weeks to do just that. And you guys will have life partners, soulmates, twin flames coming back in August, September. Um, be watching for my August channel messages uh, for you guys because it's going to give you some um, incentive to push through this hard time of healing. Um, have the strength because I know you do. It may be deep down in there, but it's there. So um, it's time to put the suffering in the past and move towards a successful future, Pisces. As always, I send you love, light, and may God bless your journey.